What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. They call me Napalm. Today I'm going to answer a question that I got on the channel uh, a couple weeks back, and it has to do with sledgehammer training. And uh, basically wants to know what kind of hammer I recommend. Wood handle, plastic handle, stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of different kinds of hammers out there. Mainly I train with wooden hammers and that is what I recommend people to use because with wooden handles, generally the handle is rounded. So not perfectly round like this biofreeze bottle, but, um, kind of, uh, oval shaped, I guess. Um, and, or, or a flattened circle shape. The nice thing about that is when you're doing sledgehammer training, it's not going to dig really hard into your palm or into your fingers when you lift up the hammer. With with a with a like a plastic handled hammer or the kind of hammer that is made so that the handle doesn't vibrate a lot when you strike something, a lot of times those handles are more pointed that I've seen and it can be a lot less comfortable in your hand. There's a lot more discomfort. With the with some hammers that you'll see, they are designed to be doing work with them, not workouts. So they'll have like at the bottom, and well, rather instead of the handle being pretty much, you know, the same size and shape the whole way up and down, sometimes towards the bottom the handle will come out like this. Obviously not that wide, but that's the kind of shape that you'll see. The problem there is the handles dig into the into your hand even more so that's even less comfortable so when you when you go and get a hammer you want to think about that um, and again most of the wooden handled hammers that I have they are very comfortable on my hands um, I can use them to, to strike something if I want to I, I do get a little dig in my hand but it's not too awful bad and it's definitely a lot less than um, the reverb, the anti-reverb handle that I have, the plastic one, and um, others that I've tried that have that weird shape at the bottom. So I would definitely go with wooden ones and uh, at least a 10-pound hammer for most guys. All right. All the best in your training, everybody. I hope that's been helpful. If it was, give it one of these, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.